This is a review of a Honeywell RTH2520B thermostat. So this is a thermostat from Honeywell and it is a 5 plus 1 plus 1 uh, programmable thermostat. It, ha it can have a um, one week of programs to configure it and it can has uh, four different schedules per day that means you can have set four different time and temperatures for each uh, according to your preference so this thermostat happened to be uh, nobody doing actual review in the YouTube that's why I recording this one and going to upload to the internet to share with the community it is an old model I think it's produced in year 2010 and it's already discontinued but still shown in Honeywell's homepage. So the something that's very interesting about this thermostat is the faceplate is covering almost all of the buttons. So the only three buttons visible from the front are the up down temperature control which only adjusts the temperature uh, temporary holding the temperature temporary for two hours and another button on the side which is a backlight button so once you press it will give you a blue uh, background light uh, in the LCD display so when I first get this thermostat the very first thing I I I, I, I was wrong is that I thought it is a very cheap thermostat where it's not programmable because I have no way to remove the cover and there's only three buttons on the front so after downloaded the document from the Honeywell homepage then I realized this cover is actually removable and that will reveal uh, several more buttons so why I, I'm not already a first time at the Mosset owner and I do have several quite uh, well designed thermostats but none of them like this thermostat where the faceplate is very difficult to remove and I also saw some comment from the YouTube that some owner is having is also having the same problem where they cannot re remove the faceplate so when this is brand new um, this faceplate is creamed to the latch very strongly and you really cannot really easily remove it by pulling it uh, in any side <clears throat> so after I pl play with it I suddenly know the trick to remove it so the trick is you have to press down press down and, and then pull this side out so by pressing down on this uh, this piece here and then uh, apply a pressure on the bottom of it and then press it out just like doing a prying like this <clears throat> and you will be able to leave it out so the reason it's mini is because there are latches on the four corner so they latch up pretty well and surprisingly tight <clears throat> um, I also, uh, for, for my unit it comes with the, with the house so I do not get several pieces of this faceplate but according to the Honeywell homepage, it comes with three different pieces and every one with different color. So uh, for me, I really like this uh, <clears throat> gold color, I guess. So once you remove the faceplate cover, you will see this is the battery tray on the top and then several programmable buttons at the bottom. Many of these are the program button. And this is the exit menu. Um, <clears throat> as well as a fan on off and also heater or cooling as well as off in the middle um, so one easy way to tell uh, from Honeywell um, the most that model series is if there is a V at the very very end of the model that means this unit is only operated by battery supply <clears throat> um, so in other words, you cannot use the thermostat power button, a power cable from the wall. So by uh, 
there is a notch over here on the top that you can use to pull up the battery cover. And now, so this battery tray again, uh, the battery also latch on very tight to this uh, to to the to the battery casing. So this is something again I really like it because some of the thermostat when they design it, uh, the thermostat doesn't really hold uh, to the into the tray uh, very well and sometimes they come out easily uh, for this one the battery really hold it to very well um, <clears throat> so when you want to replace uh, the the battery uh, it's, it's easy to snap in so for this battery uh, as I said it snap on very well so you can't really pry open from here To remove the battery, you have to pry it in the middle and pull it up and that you will be able to remove the battery and it's almost impossible using your fingers to remove the battery from here or from the end of the battery. So this is positive and that is the negative. <clears throat> um, so this thermostat is using a Texas instrument, uh, MSP403, I'm sorry, 430 uh, 413 um, microcontroller so this microcontroller can operate uh, from 2.2 2, 2 volt all the way to 3.2 volt and these two double a battery uh, supply almost like um, 1.6 volt each 3.2 volts in total uh, but it can it can go up all the all the way to 3.6 volts um, <clears throat> in other words the minimum operating voltage is 2.2 volts when the battery is dropped close to uh, uh, 2.7 volt, a low battery will start to appear over here, giving you a low battery sign, and the backlight will not operate anymore. So um, there is a low battery signal, when, um, and, it, and one set of battery uh, for a cheap. Uh, Alkaline battery, it can last for half year, and as for a more expensive alkaline battery, it can last for one year. In other words, it's safe to replace the battery every year. Uh, because it doesn't have the, it cannot use the power from the thermostat wire. So this is, this happened to any of the uh, Honeywell model with, end up with a B at the end. So that is the only uh, drawback um, when you have this thermostat. Uh, now let's talk about temperature control. So as I indicated earlier, um, these two buttons is to adjust temperature to temporarily adjust the temperatures. And if you want to hold the temperatures, you have to press the mode button here, and that will uh, hold the mode, uh, hold the, the temperature. Uh, if you are not in the low battery mode, pressing any of the button will turn on the bad light. So once you in the permanent hold of the temperature, the home icon here will disappear. Uh, and just pressing um, pressing the mode button again, uh, the home but home icon will come back again. Uh, that indicates it's back to the regular schedule. So when you are temporarily adjusting the temperatures. You also see the home button is flashing. So a flashing home uh, icon here in indicate this is the temporary temporary uh, temperatures, whereas uh, with the home icon disappeared, that means this is a permanent uh, temperature. So now talk about uh, <clears throat> uh, whether you can set the the most at all. So this is one thing that this for this thermostat you cannot really turn off the entire setting. Um, <clears throat> so the the fan here, con sorry, I, I, that is uh, not precisely true. What it means is you cannot set. So what, what I mean here is you cannot just schedule for the fan to turn on. So the fan can be either auto, which means it's going to to turn on together when in the cool or heat setting 
uh, or on. That means permanently on. You cannot really adjust the, set a schedule for the fan to turn on. So to set the schedule for the heater, switch this button to the left and press program mode. And there's a, you can set one, two, three, four, which you see on this home icon. And once you finish setting the, the time and the temperature, you press the mode button, which also acts as an exit button to exit the programming mode. So there is a clock here and there is a filter reminder here that you can press. So there are two hidden features. One is uh, a long press on the backlight button. You we'll go to the advanced features, uh, which is they call it configuration menu. You can set the temperature unit as uh, Celsius or Fahrenheit. Press again, it will go to the 12 hours or 24 hour setting. Uh, and then press again, this is called uh, early start. That means it will uh, <clears throat> turn on the furnace or AC in advance so that it will reach the uh, desired temperature at the set time rather than starting uh, at the set time. Next is the E. That is the daytime uh, daylight saving, whether it's on or off. Um, there is really no uh, specification to say whether this daylight saving is of, as of which year and date, a uh, year and month, as there is a daylight saving changing every year. So in the past 10 years, it's been changed uh, for some countries as well as for some states. So I'm not really sure what it is uh, as of now. Next is the heating cycles per hour. So if it's, you switch to the heat uh, <coughs> mode, then this is this number of uh, heating cycle per hour. And if you switch to the cold mode, then this is the number of uh, cooling cycle per hour. Uh, so pressing on the exit button or the mode button, it, it exit that screen. So now switch to the cold, cold mode. Pressing program again, you get that uh, programming mode. Uh, the difference is uh, this you can see the freeze icon come up here. Uh, go to the heat mode and you see the fire icon show up here. Uh, so, this is how, it, how the uh, low battery icon looks like. It will be flashing, but it will not make a sound. When the low battery icon come up, the backlight doesn't work. Pressing on any other button, we also will not turn on the backlight as well. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Um, pressing on the moon is to enable the permanent hole. Um, let's see. <coughs> so that. The next part is going to open up the this panel and see the wiring behind it. There's a screw over here that you have to unscrew it in order to open up this piece. You can leave the battery tray intact if you want. So this is the plate that typically you screw to the wall and you can see these are the connections that you can uh, plug into this thermostat. There's a R, a set of R, <coughs> then followed by the W for burners, Y for the AC and G for the fan. As simple as that, there's no W2 or Y2 um, and there's no C as well, C is for the uh, thermostat wire power if, if the thermostat can be powered by the wall so it certainly as I indicated earlier this any model ended with a B uh, there will not be any a C connector over here therefore the thermostat cannot operate uh, on the wall power um, there's one trick that I modify my thermostat to last longer that is this extra 
double A battery. <coughs> oh, by the way, there's also one jumper wire here. If you're using an electric heating versus a gas, uh, then you can switch this jumper to imply it's an electric heating. Uh, for me, I'm using a natural gas. So that is uh, from the factory. So um, back to me, is uh, I've done a mo modification to this wire uh, because the uh, I found that the <coughs> the the battery of swapping every uh, you know dropping to a uh, one point one volt per 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 double A battery is kind of a waste of energy uh, rather than drain the battery until zero point eight volt or zero point seven volt. Uh, so I prefer to. Uh, <clears throat> to make a longer life of the battery, uh, therefore I jump, I wire another double A, triple A battery into the back panel, uh, so that to this tab, um, and uh, so that I can drain the battery to be even further. So the disadvantage here is that uh, the low battery uh, warning could be come up earlier than uh, regular. Uh, re re without uh, with this with this without this hack uh that only means i will not have the bad light when i press on the bad light button or pressing on any button i will not have a bad light i'm i'm, I'm totally fine with that i would rather having a, a longer usage of the unit rather than changing the battery every uh three or uh, six months or, or or one year so if you're using a rechargeable battery, uh, which only can charge 1.2 volt, regardless if it's the Mayan or, or uh, Nikkei MH, uh, all of them only can charge the 1.2 1.2 volt. That means if the battery drops to 1.1 volt each, then again that will going to trigger the low battery sign as well. Uh, but the battery capacity for all these rechargeable rechargeable battery typically are uh, 2800 mAh. Um, so again they should be able to last one year. So it is going to be uh, okay to use a rechargeable lithium ion or nickel cadmium even uh, <clears throat> for, for this thermostat. It's just that you have to be aware that once they drop to 1.1 volt each, uh, you will lose the backlight features because it will detect that as a low battery and has to be fully charged most of the time. Uh, that's all for this review.